The Basin Electric Board of Directors authorized one more unit to be added to the Lonesome Creek Station near Watford City, North Dakota. Gavin McCollum is Vice President of Engineering and Construction. He says while adding a sixth unit to Lonesome Creek is a pretty straightforward build, contingency in the budget will help mitigate some risk. Contingency is used to cover risk that you're unaware of uh, when you put together a budget. In this case, uh, the risks are primarily uh, construction labor. This will be out in the Bakken area. It's been a long, you know, it's been several years since we've built a project in the Bakken, so we're a little uncertain about the labor rates, uh, what we'll get the construction contract for, and then it's a com fairly compressed schedule. So anytime you do that, um, that might adjust the, uh, the rates. Also, it's gonna be some winter construction, and uh, there's, you never know what's gonna happen in the winter up here and so uh, we allow for that sort of thing uh, with contingency it's basically you don't know what you don't know and uh, that covers that, that sort of thing. Trent Schwann will be the project coordinator for this uh, for this plant he was the uh, senior electrical uh, lead for the previous project so he's very familiar with the, the, the design is very familiar with the site uh, and so he was a natural selection for this for this work, so he's going to do a really good job for us. When phase three was built, which included units four and five, um, at that time the, the site was graded. Um, there was provisions that were put in place to easily add a six unit, so um, infrastructure as far as the transmission, um, the gas pipeline, and some underground things have already been done. Um, we're able to make use of all of the existing O&M buildings that are there. We have staff that's that's there and trained. Um, we do have certain spare parts on inventory. So it's really just a nice fit um, to add on to that site. When, when units four and five were built, unit six was actually permitted during that time. Um, those permits have since essentially expired, um, but it, it, it won't be a real vigorous process to go back to the various agencies and essentially reapply because the, the permit was essentially finalized at one point. This GE does currently have a unit in stock that is the same vintage um, as the units that are currently there. So that's certainly going to help with the project budget as well as, as, well as timing. By using this um, in stock unit, we're able to shave about three to five months off of the schedule. The 45 megawatt unit is set to go into commercial operation in 2021.